Election Day is just one day away here in the United States and in Michigan, it's going to be a rainy, wet, and perhaps windy one as well. This video is going to hone in and focus on what times are best for you to go out and stand in line to cast your vote in tomorrow's election. Now, I want to preface this and say this is not a political video. This is just a forecast video for you guys so you guys can stay informed as to what is coming tomorrow. So if you guys get political in the comments, we will shut those off. Don't test us, please. Keep it civil. So today's forecast, for Monday at least, is going to be much the same. Rainy and windy, today's model here. We're going to look at the next 24 to 48 hours here. Today's model, HRRR, rain across much of lower Michigan. Some could be heavy at times for portions of the state. I move northeast through the state. Dry conditions will kind of filter in off and on, but overall through the afternoon, off and on rain for a majority of us here in lower Michigan, as well as the UP. We get towards sunset tonight. That continues. We have a little more so in the rain for rain forecast for southeast Michigan. I know most of you guys in the southeast portions of the state are not getting too much of rain from yesterday and currently. So we should see some sprinkles, at least some showers in that area today. It won't accumulate too much, but it will give us a chance for some much needed rain. In terms of precip totals through the first couple of hours of the day today, about a half inch of rain up there. We see those blue stretches up toward Gate or sorry. Grand Rapids up toward Ionia County through just about South Mount Pleasant up toward West Branch. But notice here further southeast, we're not getting too much across the Detroit Metro, across Lenaway, Monroe counties, Washtenaw. You guys are still about under a tenth of an inch, so not much for you guys there. Flip back over here to the radar and go into Tuesday. Here is your election day forecast for you guys, Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. So I don't know exactly what time pulls open, but roughly 8 a.m. We're going to have a heavier band of showers and storms working through the central part of the state. But notice again how southeast Michigan stays dry. So central and northern parts of lower Michigan, you guys could get some pretty soaking rain there as we get towards sunrise into tomorrow morning. But notice how southeast Michigan stays dry here through much of the day. So if you are in the southeast corner of Michigan, you are going to stay dry until perhaps later in the evening around when the polls close around 8, 9, 10 p.m. So uh, Southeast Michigan tomorrow, you look to be on the drier side. A passing shower, definitely possible, but the model here says the most heaviest rain will stay north. Now, backing this up for you guys, you guys live, we're going to say north of Lansing here, from about Kalamazoo up toward about the Tri-City area and points northward. This is at 8 a.m. here. Here's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Now, for you guys up there in northern lower Michigan, it's going to be a pretty steady rain between the 8 a.m. We're going to say about 2 p.m. time frame. And then there could be a brief break there for you guys to get outside and, and, and get in line to vote right around that mid-afternoon time frame, 3 to 4 p.m. for you guys. Notice how the radar is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty dry here. This is at 4 p.m. Now, as we get toward 5 p.m., 6 p.m., that rain starts to move back in from west to east. So you guys could have a brief break there mid-afternoon to get out side and get out and vote so to speak i know a lot of people in bigger cities will have bigger lines to deal with so if you're looking to stay dry you're going to be looking in that mid-afternoon time frame for you guys in north and western portions of michigan so otherwise if you're in southeast michigan it will be primarily dry for much of the day but one thing we're going to talk about is the wind so backing this all the way back up to today i wish i would have gone in order here but i didn't uh, but as far as your wind gusts go for tomorrow, both today and tomorrow will be windy. Now, today it looks more windy here in the southern part of the state. Here's 2 p.m. today. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour, perhaps higher in spots. Definitely a possibility across the 96 corridor from Grand Rapids to Lansing over to Flint and point southward. Further north, 20 miles an hour or so is the expectation. Those are going to be your gusts, so sustained winds roughly 15 or so miles per hour with those gusts getting closer to 35, 40 miles per hour, definitely possible. Get to tonight the wind kind of calms down just a bit still a little bit gusty for in terms of standards here in michigan but it is fall so it's not unusual but as we get toward tomorrow morning toward sunrise that wind picks back up there for southern michigan and that will filter north throughout the day so gusts up to 45 miles per hour possible all day long tomorrow from sunrise to sunset so regardless of where you're at in michigan regardless of rain or anything like that it's going to be windy so prepare yourselves and dress on the warmer side as well. Speaking of warmer side, we're going to be looking at temperatures tomorrow, quite mild in terms of your overall averages here in Michigan. Here is 2 p.m. tomorrow. We're having east and south 
east and south portions of Michigan in the low 70s. Elsewhere, you're going to be stuck in the mid to upper 60s. Further north, perhaps low 60s. Overall, a very warm day. Over, like For November standards, a very warm day. If you live up in the UP, though, you're going to be stuck in the 40s and perhaps low 50s. Sorry, guys. But further south definitely takes the warmth for tomorrow. Go ahead and back this up for sunrise just to give you a whole picture. Here's sunrise, 8 a.m. or so. We're right around 60 degrees statewide. When I say statewide, I mean lower peninsula wide. Then as we get closer to that noon time frame, there's your mid-60s filtering in. Mid-afternoon time frame, we're going to be looking at mid to upper 70s possible in eastern Michigan, Monroe, Wayne, Macomb counties. Definitely a possibility we sneak toward that 75 to 80 degree mark. But elsewhere, mid-60s will be the expectation all day. So overall, rainy for the northern half of the state, yes. Showers possible further south and east. Warm temperatures by November standards, right around 60 to 70 degrees, maybe higher further south and east. Wind all day long, gust up to 45 miles per hour, sustained roughly 15 to 20 miles per hour statewide. All right, so that is your election day forecast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll go ahead and break down additional days ahead in future videos, but we have a first 48 hour block to get through here of some rain, some wind. Uh, in terms of overall precip accumulation before I hop off, just want to go ahead and give you guys rain totals here. Here is the model through. Uh, go ahead and back this up here to 12Z. There we go. There is your precip accumulation. Now, I, one thing I will mention here is this is going to be drought busting rain. It, it may not completely break through and, you know, rid our drought conditions, but we're getting... Uh, the model here throwing out a good swath here of one to three inches of rain across central and northern lower Michigan. But notice here, southeast Michigan, kind of in a bubble there. I'm at Detroit, about a tenth of an inch or so or less in that area. But then around it, we have a tenth to about a half inch of rain from about cold water up to about that Port Huron area. So overall, rain, yes, we're going to need to take every drop. But southeast Michigan will stay the driest through the time period. So overall, one to three inches of rain across the heaviest swath and then outside the heaviest swath about a half inch to about an inch and a half depending on where you're at up northern lower southwest lower okay with that being said i'm going to pop out of here before i do quick shout out to our sponsor cats roofing and siding based out of the lansing and battle creek metro areas they do roofing siding gutters and windows feel free to give them a call 517-485-9886 Tell them, tell them that MSC sent you. They would appreciate that, as would we. With that being said, you guys have a great day. Stay safe, and please keep it civil in the comment section if you decide to comment.